one. So I'm excited about that. So got the new beer emote, uh, worked on that a little bit. It needs some work. I think I need to lighten it a little bit. Um, and maybe widen it a little bit to about a 40 range, uh, you know, a good, like 40. That's what I'm looking for. Um, but I haven't used Photoshop in a while and I'm trying to do a lot of these edits by hand. So it's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and then the drink tonight, this guy right here, uh, I went for the fat beer tonight. I decided to have some fun. Oh man. I got a nice thick stout. Now this, um, I'm going to turn my light off so I can see. Oh, I love my dark beers. The, the darker, the better. What I've got here is uh, from Highwire Brewing Company. And Highwire Brewing is in um, Asheville, North Carolina. It's up in the mountains. So good mountain town. Tons of breweries in that city. Uh, this is called... Um, this is their stout line that they have. It's called 10W40. And it makes sense because it pours like motor oil. Now, this is Mexican hot chocolate 10W40. Yeah. Now, their can art used to be like a, a huge dumpster fire. Um, oh, well, I think more ads are rolling on my channel. That's weird. Um, but th their, their can art used to be dumpster fire. It used to be way too busy, all of that. They got real simple, real quick, and they just have this nice little color gradient and all that they've put in here. It's very nice. It's very simple, very clean. Um, I like it a lot. But then down at the bottom, and I'll see how easy it is to see this, you can kind of see the high wire there um, with the, uh, you know, the tightrope walker. Now, Mexican hot chocolate... <laughs> uh, first of all, it is an 8% Imperial Stout. It is with chocolate, vanilla, cinnamon, pasilla, and Carolina Reaper peppers. So, um, oh yeah, baby. So I poured this right before I came upstairs. So it's been sitting. I like what you got. Very nice. Um, yeah, it actually does, Selena. Um, on the back end, it's got a little bit of a, a good pepper finish, a nice little bite to it. But it's very smooth. Um, like when I take a sip of it, I definitely get all the chocolate and the cinnamon is right there. Very, very forward up front, chocolate, cinnamon. But then after after a, a second or two, you start to feel just a little bit of that heat from the pepper uh, on your tongue. And you can kind of taste it in the back of your mouth and all that. It's not overwhelming. Um, it doesn't light your ass up. Um, this is not a beer that you chug down anyway. I need to do a beer segment every stream, man. I mean, that's I think that's just what I'm going to do. The problem is... <laughs> The problem is, is I'm not, um, I'm trying to reduce the amount of expensive beers I'm getting. So I think what I'm going to do is, is I've got my, I've got Storm Brew, which is the, the Carolina Hurricanes, uh, branded, uh, local light beer. And I'll get one of those before the night's over with. I just don't have one right now. Um, but yeah, I'll probably start doing a craft beer. Yeah. I need puppers. God, I need puppers so bad. I'm so jealous. I can't get it down here. Uh, at all so fuck that's fine all right I, like i want puppers and i want gus and brew like i would kill for some of that down here but you know i'll i'll stand for ketchup chips and i'll dress chips at this point um it gets the job done so so yeah i mean this um got a good pepper finish at the end of it um but it's smooth it goes down pretty easy i've had this can for probably Probably three, four months now. Uh, it's been sitting in my refrigerator. Um, I don't always hammer down stouts as soon as I buy them. Um, in fact, I've got a... Uh, 
maybe Saturday, maybe next week. Actually, Saturday, I'll pull this out. I've got a stout bottle that's sitting in my beer cabinet right now. It's not in the refrigerator. I will refrigerate it before I open it, but I've had it for over a year. Um, and it's like an 11, 12% um, Imperial Stout. Um, the thing about stout beers is that you can hold on to them for a long time. Um, the alcohol content in them allows them to age a good bit and they get so much smoother the older that they are. Uh, you can't do that with like lagers and shit like that. The alcohol content's not there. They can go sour on, on you really bad. So you don't want to do that. Uh, but for like a stout, oh yeah, all day long. Stouts, barley wines, stuff like that. You can age them and they taste delicious. So like I said, about three, four months I've been sitting on this one. I decided to open it up today. Oh, it's good. A lot of flavor in this. Um, can't chug it. I think if I tried to, the peppers might overwhelm. Um, but you usually don't chug stouts anyway. You can chug a Guinness. Guinness is not hard to chug because it's very, it's light. It's very dry. Um, I like Guinness. I mean, I, some people shit on it. I, I actually think it's a very good beer. Um, I know a lot of people that do uh, same thing with they can't drink stouts. They don't like dark beers. I understand. Um, I understand that there was a time I wouldn't touch them, uh, but I kind of went. My beer journey started from only drinking like. I wouldn't touch beer for a long time, and then I would only drink one kind of beer. Yeah, lager, Blondale. I like those two, and I'm one of those people. I don't like IPAs. I just, I, they're not my go-to. And everybody in my neck of the woods, that's all they want. I mean, it's like they want to be able to squeeze the juice out of a hop and then just drink that. And I'm like, Ugh, okay. Um... I'm not going to say they're gross. Um, I understand <laughs> because there was a time that I thought they were disgusting and I never wanted to touch them. But at the same time, I have come around to a few of them because the bitterness and the crispness that you can get out of a good IPA is really fucking tasty if it's done right. Um, founders up in Michigan, and, and I tend to find the, the IPAs I like tend to be more on the session beer side. Um, anywhere from four to about six percent alcohol usually is like right on for where I'm going to find my where I'm going to find the flavor that I like. Um, founders Brewery up in Michigan uh, makes a uh, makes a beer called Founders All Day IPA. And it's what they call the session beer, which is typically a session beer is below 5% alcohol. And it's a session. It's meant for you to have a couple in a drinking session. And it's delicious. Um, a breakfast beer. What's a breakfast beer? Because founder, well, you could drink it for breakfast, like, you know, Instead of your OJ, you could do uh, a breakfast a breakfast with it. I like it because on hot summer days, it's just fantastic. Um, that said, Founders does make a breakfast stout that is excellent because it's an oatmeal stout. And those are always just, they have just a, a they just feel, fill you up. They're so good. Uh, excuse me. So, um... So yeah, that's really the beer story right now. Um, so yeah, I'll show it off again. I have a couple new folks in. We got Founders. All right, uh, sorry, High Wire Brewing Mexican Hot Chocolate, ten W forty. They also do like a German chocolate, ten um, W forty every now and then. Um, that's pretty good. So yeah. <laughs> 